ramai Jana ingin mengucapkan selamat berbuka. <coughs> Yurik sirap ubat batuk gamat dan madu plus, pilihan saya ketika kurang sehat. Ia boleh melegakan batuk dan kahak dengan cepatnya dan tidak menyebabkan mengantuk selepas minum. Ia juga boleh dicampurkan dengan air untuk melegakan kepanasan dalam badan. Selamat berbuka puasa dan selamat Hari Raya Ideal Fitri, maaf zahir dan batin. Yurik. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm Prasad and you're watching Kini Flash. The Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission has a new chief. Prominent lawyer Latifa Koya punched in for the first time today as the new chief commissioner replacing Muhammad Shukri Abdul. But why did Shukri step down so soon? His contract only expires in May 2020. We asked him and in a text message he said his mission has been accomplished. He added that, quote, I have placed MACC on the right track. All officers are united and support from the public has been strong. According to the Prime Minister's office, Latifa is on a two-year contract effective June 1st and the appointment is among steps to reform government institutions. Following the appointment, PKR Communications Director Fahmi Fazdel said it would be best for Latifa to emulate Dewan Rakyat Speaker Muhammad Arif Yusuf in quitting the party to avoid calls of conflict of interest. And in a tweet this evening, Latifa thanked Fahmi for the advice, but she appears to be one step ahead because she has already sent in a resignation with immediate effect as an ordinary member of PKR yesterday. So while Latifa is proactive in making sure the transition to being the next MACC chief is smooth, some people have apparently been left in the dark. The Parliamentary Special Select Committee on Public Appointments had no knowledge that Latifa would be appointed, according to its chief, William Leong. He said her appointment should have been brought to their notice for them to discuss the matter, but they were not aware of it. The Salayang MP said he disagreed with the lawyer's appointment, despite both of them coming from the same party. The Special Select Committee was formed to discuss public appointments as pledged by Pakatan Harpan in its 2018 election manifesto. Latifa's appointment was so shocking to some that they didn't even believe it at first. This was the case with past Vice President Iskandar Abdul Samad. He initially thought it was fake news. He only believed it after he read about it on a news portal. He also expressed concern of the fact that Latifa was a politician who once held various positions in PKR. Amana youth leader Faiz Fazil has come to Muhammad Sabu's defence after the party president was criticised for a recent speech given at an international conference in Singapore. Muhammad, who is the Defence Minister, had addressed the 18th IISS Asia Security Summit Shangri-La Dialogue on June 1st, and portions of his Q&A session has gone viral on social media. The video was also shared by MCA President Wee Ka Siong, who said Mat Sabu has embarrassed the country with his poor command of English. So we have to fight with them in soft way and hard way. But I am a very... Uh, appreciate and uh, the the role of the prime minister of new zealand how they face she faced with the uh, accident in uh, new zealand we appreciate him that's the way the world leaders should be behave when that thing happened in their country today fire slammed we for his criticism and urged him to stop trying to distract people from BN's billion ringgit scandals involving public institutions such as 1MDB, Falda and Tabung Haji. As for Muhammad's speech, Faiz believed that his linguistic mistakes did not detract from his overall message. Malaysia is poised to purchase 12 unmanned surveillance drones worth almost 80 million ringgit. According to the Pentagon, the purchase will include spare and repair parts, support equipment, tools, training and technical services According to Reuters, the drone in question is the Scan Eagle, manufactured by a Boeing subsidiary. The drone is expected to be ready in March 2022. According to the Defence Post, the Scan Eagle has a flight endurance of over 20 hours and can be used for battlefield intelligence, reconnaissance, as well as surveillance. Looking for an open house to attend, Prime Minister Dr. Martha Mohamed and the Cabinet will be hosting the Malaysian Ideal Fitri Open House at the Sri Perdana Complex in Putrajaya tomorrow. The open house will take place from 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And that is all from me today. For more stories, go to kinitv.com. Please hit like, subscribe and leave a comment. Salamat Hari Raya, Ideal Fitri, Maaf, Zahir dan Batin, kepada semua.
Bye bye. Hai, Jana ingin mengucapkan selamat berbuk. <coughs> Yurik sirap ubat batuk gamat dan madu plus, pilihan saya ketika kurang sehat. Ia boleh melegakan batuk dan kahak dengan cepatnya dan tidak menyebabkan mengantuk selepas minum. Ia juga boleh dicampurkan dengan air untuk melegakan kepanasan dalam badan. Selamat berbuka puasa dan selamat Hari Raya! Ideal Fitri, maaf zahir dan batin! Yurik.